The Aquatic Research Laboratory is really designed to help understand what the impacts are of energy development here in the Pacific Northwest. So the facility actually has access to river water from the Columbia River. Water is sand filtered, uh, passes through a UV lamp to disinfect the water, and then it is either heated or cooled to produce a range of temperatures from about 40 up to about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And that gives us a lot of capability and flexibility to rear different species of fish and fish of different sizes and development rates. At any given time, we have 10 to 20,000 fish on site. The capacity is much larger than that. We have focus primarily on juvenile salmon. We have roughly eight or 10 other species that we keep on hand. We spend a lot of time tagging fish. A big part of the program that we have developed there is the construction of these small acoustic tags that are able to track salmon in their natural environment. So having the aquatic research lab stationed right on the river, having access to uh, those populations of fish that are impacted by the hydropower system makes it rather unique. And how we can utilize that information to improve understanding of what those effects are and work with power developers and the generators and the agencies to essentially maintain that level of infrastructure that we have and minimize those impacts to native fish populations.